no drawings, no photomontage, no sketch, preparatory sketch can't match the reality of our project. Who? Usually, often the sketch of the sculptor is better than the real sculpture, because video sculpture became boring, study things. Or often the sketch of architect is better than his building. <laughs> but this, in like our project, no drawings, no sketch can simulate the richness of the projects. Uh, our project, they're like our life. They're fragile. Something will be gone forever. And it can translate that quality. And, it, and also the quality that they're free, that cannot be owned. Because we're surrounded with a world who we possess so many things. We own collectors, owns, museums, owns, people, owns. If something is so big, you cannot charge tickets, cannot own, it's there, and after a few days it's gone. And it's there, but it, it will be something unique. You know, that is the important part. Is, this is why we are, we, myself, Jean-Claude, we are adamant that we never do the same things again. There was a chance that the Mr. Clancy, who is still alive, I think, the former director of Prince Henry Hospital, was willing to give a, uh, to help John. Actually, John was everything. Without John, we cannot do that project. And he convinced Dr. Clancy to, to, uh, to let us do the project. Even that, I don't know if John told it, that the moment they give us the permission, uh, it was the state or city hospital they bring, they bring uh, probably uh, simulated sick people in the stretch in the front of the gates because the hospital is outside of Sydney and to protest that they spend money for that project instead of the poor, for the sick people. And we try to explain this is our money, it's not the money from the, from the hospital or the state and things like that. And, there was a, and the place was the, actually literally garbage, you know. Today is the golf course. Biggest challenges is really, oh, oh, many, many. You ask me so many challenges. The first, uh, I was not speaking well English, and that was the big handicap. And, and and I only, and of course, also many of the technical parts. I don't know how they call them English. You know, we were not working enough here. With today, I know many technical parts, but this is the first time I need all these construction things. It was very difficult. Uh, and, and, but, uh, but probably also, uh, John was, uh, 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 is even today, John is extremely calm, Mr. Caldo, John Caldo. And both of myself and Jean-Claude, we are very uh, uh, outgoing. And John always, John always tried to take the things with the reflection and the calm. <laughs> that, we can overwork the problems. Even sometimes I'm so nervous and, uh, you know, how do you, shouting. And John tried to be very douce and very calm. I remember uh, uh, sometimes there was so funny element because, you know, the fabric came down from the cliffs like that. And, and also you have the workers near the rocks, near the cliffs. And suddenly the entire fabric came down. We put the ropes, and we forget somebody is in behind that. <laughs> we need to take him out. When he put the ropes over the fabric, to secure the ropes, uh, we use, uh, uh, you know, the rope come down, but you cannot have a rope running for 10, 15 meters to not be attached to something. Sometimes we attach the rope to some rocks, but sometimes we need to really, uh, it's called a ramset gun, like a special steel parts who, with like a gun, he shot in the sandstone and he created a, 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 a tied the rock to the rock or to the under the rock to not slipping around and that was very important to especially in the area we know the fabric coming down and it came to the high tide when the surf come and often the water come and there are a lot of movement we need to secure the rocks on these very slicky rocks and one of these slicky rocks I slept an entire right shoulder come here and I ran to the hospital, and the doctor in the hospital put it back the shoulder, and he was saying, I rubbed the shoulder of Christo. <laughs> and I was with like that. <laughs> we do with space 
who is not normally used for art. We use the space of highway, bridges, airports, all these things, things like that. And, and that space is, with Jean Claude, always we're using, we borrow that space and create gentle disturbance for a few days.